Well, there are new details emerging about former Vice President Mike Pence's conversations with special counsel Jack Smith. ABC News is reporting some specific details from those conversations earlier this year, where Pence was questioned about personal notes he took after meetings with then-President Trump. And one line of questioning had to do with the placement of a comma in a quote from Pence's book. Pence wrote that he told Trump on Christmas Day 2020, quote, you know, comma, I don't have, I don't think I have the authority to change the outcome of the election on January 6th. That, that comma there, that's key. ABC News reporting Pence told prosecutors it should never have been placed there, that it was supposed to be an admonishment. CNN's Ellie Honig jo mm. joins us now. Ellie, without getting into the comma specifically, what does it tell you that Smith's team is being that granular about their process here? Well, Phil, this is what prosecutors do. Let's remember, this trial is going to happen. It is under 100 days away from right now. Mike Pence is going to be a pivotal, perhaps the pivotal witness for the prosecutors. He has this sort of unique standing here where he's both an eyewitness and a victim. He's a victim in the sense that he was the recipient of Donald Trump's pressure campaign. He was the one who the rioters were chanting for. But he's also a witness to crucial one-on-one -on -one conversations at times that he had with Donald Trump. And there's no other person on the planet who can give prosecutors the kind of insight that Mike Pence can give them. I think the key reporting here is that Pence directly told Donald Trump he had seen no evidence of election fraud, add Mike Pence to that long list, that he did not believe he had the constitutional authority to throw out the vote. Mm -hmm. So Mike Pence is a crucial witness anyway. You cut this, and it makes sense to me the prosecutors are digging in at that level of granularity. Can we just get into the commas for a moment, though, Ellie? Because you read it, you yeah. know, I don't have the authority to change the outcome of the election <laughs> on January 6th, or you know. I don't have the authority. I mean, that that is a huge difference, is it not? What would it do for the prosecution it here? Does. Pence is saying it's the latter. Commas matter. Every word matters. Every piece of punctuation matters. Think about how that changes the meaning of this sentence. On the one hand, it's written with the comma, which would mean, you know, in the conversational sense, you know, sir, I don't think I have the authority to do that. Without the comma, which Pence now says the comma shouldn't be there, it means, you know, Donald Trump, you know that I don't think I have the authority to throw out the election. So that comma, it may seem trivial, but it makes a big difference in the actual meaning of the sentence. Ellie, Pence could take the stand uh, when this goes to trial. If you're Trump's lawyers, how do you cross-examine and question Pence as a witness? Yeah, I think there's a couple of things. First of all, Mike Pence did write a book where he came out with some of these details, many of these details, but not all of them. And I think the argument you'll hear from Trump's lawyers is that anything he didn't put in his book is sort of what we call a recent fabrication, something he made up after the fact. And I think some of what they'll press Mike Pence on is that he has said that at times he believed there were irregularities in the voting, although ultimately he comes around to the view that there was no evidence of fraud. But I think he'll also press Mike Pence on the fact that Donald Trump was here different pieces of advice from different advisors. Some of them, who I think are generally seen as more responsible, were telling Trump there's no evidence of fraud. But other people were telling Trump that there was evidence of fraud and he should push ahead. So I think defense lawyers for Trump are going to focus on that latter part. Ellie Honig, thank you. Commas matter.